last time we came here to Quattro Kalinas for a hunt in multiplayer, we had a really good time and also managed to bag a diamond Ibex. And I wanted to come back again, but with a little bit of a different loadout today. So it is currently in the server Red Deer Drink Time, and there's a bunch of stags in among this herd. And by the way, there was a multiplayer challenge to spot five animals there. Of all maps to have that on, Quattro is the one where you can get it done incredibly quickly, but there's a couple of good ones. That guy is alert. There's another that I wanted to spot. It's that guy there, and he is a level 8. So the weapon that we're going for Red Deer today with is actually going to be the muzzleloader. And despite the fact that we had the level 5 spotted behind the 8, he was standing still, and I wanted to get that shot off. Now, of course, we've been kind of working on it off and on here on Quattro. I really want to get another diamond... Iberian Wolf? Was that a rare Red Deer of some kind? It is. It's a piebald hind. I don't know where she was hiding. I guess it's not difficult to imagine that she was kind of stuck in that herd, just kind of covered up by the other Red Deers. So we'll have to try to go and get that with the muzzleloader. We'll also have to go ahead and, I think, finish reloading because we canceled that animation to spot it. But anyway, we grabbed the 454 there by accident trying to switch weapons. That's the gun I have for wolves today. Ideally, this is kind of the time to get them while they're out feeding. And up in this area where the red deer are has been a good area for wolves traditionally, especially during that kind of feed time. So as these red deer are coming back, I'm actually thinking about going for a 454 shot on that piebald hind if she runs through, just because we have the ability to get a quick follow up. So we'll see. I mean, they seem to be nervous and coming back, so I don't think there's any rush. Okay, she is coming right at us. I don't know where she came from, but 454 is going to be the move. And we'll get a second shot in there to guarantee. Pretty cool. Basically just shot a piebald red deer hind through the antlers of a downed mythical stag with the 454. Not how I thought this video was going to start, but certainly can't complain about a nice sized stag followed up by a... Pretty cool little rare that actually we double lunged on the initial shot, so it would have been good. But just in case, especially if you get like a vertebrae hit and you don't expect it at the beginning, when they're kind of in that flinching animation, especially like a fast weapon like the 454, getting that other follow-up in can be a pretty good easy shot while they're kind of still. So to get a quick screenshot or two of that, pretty cool to get. And we do have a number of piebald uh, hinds taxed already, so I don't think we'll tax that. But Really nice to start out with a rare red deer here. Well, this is not exactly how I meant uh, to be finding wolves today. I guess we can go for a 454 shot on the level 7. It's a thing we see with a bunch of predator species. They will just, for whatever reason, flee in place. And, I mean, they're still staying there. Despite the fact that we shot that one, they're all kind of hanging out. I don't see any big ones, but... Maybe we shouldn't just go and get a ton of hunting pressure on this person's map. It is multiplayer, and I don't like to cause too much pressure. I just heard Rascal Brown, and I thought we had other wolves coming to attack us, but yeah, I mean, they're all just kind of chilling here. And we saw, it's not like all the animals on this map are doing it. It's just the wolves, for whatever reason, the red deer fled just fine. But a 37 scoring gold Iberian wolf, I mean, nice to get one in a bit of an odd fashion. I wish they would have attacked us, but maybe other ones will as we go along here. It almost feels like it would be kind of overpowered for Mouflon, but that is another species we can actually use the muzzleloader on today. And for this level 4, a 142-164 score is mid. Definitely a guaranteed goal. And he's actually kind of the perfect range for the higher zero for the muzzleloader. So if we get out the proper weapon, probably we could wait till he lifts his head. We don't really need to. I mean, the muzzleloader has just absurd powers, so we can just go for this. And that is going to insta-drop. Obviously, a probably like 53 kilogram animal with a weapon that we've seen take on class 9 animals with no issue, and it's still something I wish they would do, kind of like increase that max animal class to 9, because it's been tested. It can take down bison and cape buffalo just as well as some of the weapons that are rated to class 9, but since it is a 4 to 8, we can take advantage of that and get some of the smaller animals with it as well. So just to see... We shot him at 195 meters, and in fact, we shot just too high, so maybe we should have waited for him to lift his head, because we're, I mean, almost touching the lungs there with that 50 cal uh, ball, but 
just a 160 silver ultimately, obviously a good bit below the gold mark, but still got to show off the power of the muzzleloader anyway, despite the uh, spinal cord shot. Maybe a chance for redemption here. Another pretty good size Mouflon, and I'm actually kind of curious to see what it's going to score. Because its horns aren't really even, and I don't know if that's going to contribute to the score or actually hurt it. But this time, we're going to zero for 150, and we are going to wait for it to actually lift its head. We'll try to be a little more careful with this shot. And once again, drop shot, but we kept that one good and low. So I think we'll officially get our gold Mouflon and... I guess get to see what the muzzleloader can do when we don't just hit the spinal cord. So let's see what we ended up with for this guy. He's a 162. Actually, I guess he has kind of like the bigger horns, but they just curl so oddly. I thought he was the smaller horns, but still the max weight estimate range for them. But I think that's actually kind of a low score for that weight, but that time we see much better left lung liver and stomach at 157 meters, so Going forward, we'll be a little more careful on those shots with the muzzle litter, but I want to go and check this lake. We're definitely well into the early road deer drink time now. Red deer should still be out, and we may see some mouflon or wolves down in there, so I think that'll be a good place to spend a little time. Admittedly, I did come down here partially because of road deer, but I didn't expect to see this. There are, I think, six or seven road deer bucks just all kind of packed into this one zone. And none of them are really all that special. I think that's the best one. So we'll go ahead and try to take him with the 243. And maybe because of the range, we could get another one along with him. I think that shot will be good. And just because of the way that the kind of recoil lit us, we could take the other one up there to the right. There probably was a better option. But not too bad with getting the two of them. And there might actually be more stuff down at the end of the lake. But I mean, I've seen a bunch of road here at that end. Just never all in one spot like that before. Ooh, that one looks a little bit better. Kind of hidden back there in the brush, 71 to 83. Still level 2. But I think at a distance we can probably get it. They are a class 3 animal. I'm almost tempted, as I accidentally equip a turkey color that we definitely don't need for this map. Almost tempted to throw the smaller rounds in for the muzzleloader. And maybe try to go up and get him with that. Our two other road deer bucks are right here. We actually ran past one of them trying to go and spot that guy. We can get them and then get in a little bit closer. Now with those rounds, the zero distances are a little bit less. I think out to 100 or 150 when we have those. I must not have actually equipped them. Actually equipped the wrong ones. And we only have out to 100. There's 50, 75, and 100 as our zero ranges. So we'll try to scoot in a little closer. In the meantime, our bigger road here from that first group was in fact a gold. And yeah, maybe we can get that guy down with the muzzleloader and the round balls. We're starting to get him going attentive. We're also starting to walk into the water, so I think this is going to be our spot as long as Rascal doesn't walk in front of us. We'll keep it a little extra high, and I think we just hard shot him as he did a faceplant there with the round balls. And before I forget, we need to put the other ones back in, otherwise we're going to end up shooting something that's going to run forever and we're not going to want that. Interesting what that does to the muzzleloader reload animation and sounds, but I think technically that still gives us the proper ammo for the larger game. Now, I do want to know what this guy's going to score. 71 minimum gives him a pretty good shot at being a solid sized buck, and I mean, I think those are like the Sort of smaller diamond rack for Rodier antlers. Yeah, 77. If he wasn't so narrow, he may well have been like a diamond double two. Diamond is 81.8 for them, so we're not far off. You know what, though? That was just a left lung shot at 160 meters again. I mean, the muzzleloader just showing the power that it has. Single lung at that range just straight up dropping a Rodier. That's pretty impressive. Well, I guess it's a day for female rares. That right there, I'm pretty much certain, is a melanistic female European hare, which we technically have never had. I want to say it was the creator beta for Quattro where we shot one, and during that beta, my memory is that the rares for European hare were spawning way too commonly, so I basically don't even count that as one that we ever got, especially since it was, like I said, I think, on that beta period, so we didn't even get to keep it. This would officially be our first, and 
it was only maybe like a couple of months ago that we got our first rare European hair to begin with, an albino gold. And this being a level one, it is definitely not going to be a gold. But let's confirm here. It certainly looks like a melanistic to me. It's got to be a 3.4 silver as our first ever melanistic European hair. Go figure. I mean, in recent times, we've put some more hours on Quattro than, say, the last, I don't know, six months. But we definitely spent more time on Quattro initially when it came out than we have really ever since then. And to only now be getting the rares is interesting, but certainly not going to complain. Now that's a sound I've been waiting on the entire hunt. We finally have at least one aggressive wolf, and it actually is a level 9, no way. There's actually more than one. He's a common, so we need to be very careful here. That is a first type that we want. We need to make sure that we can make the shot with the 454, and then we need to make sure we can survive. So maybe when he gets out here on the kind of road. I have no idea where that went. That didn't even hit him. I think it should have. Let's see if he'll stop for a second. I know we're going to end up taking some damage, but if we can just kind of get him to work his way over here, I think we'll be okay. I don't even know what's going on. There's so many wolves. <laughs> And he's not really doing much sitting still. Okay. Um, he's gonna run at us. This is... Oh, boy. Okay, they're doing the circling thing now? Do I have a medkit? I do. Which one even is he? There's so many. Oh, my goodness. I think he's this one. No, that's a six. Oh, boy. Mythical. Okay, I saw level nine. That's him. This is ridiculous. How on earth... There's like, I don't know, nine or ten wolves here? Eventually they may flee, but I don't even know that I want that. Where did he go? Jeez. We can't even, like, get the time to spot him because we're going to end up dying from all the damage we're going to take. It's a good thing we have the medkits. I wish that one shot, I felt like it would have hit. I wish that one would have landed. That's a seven. Where is he? That's him right there. Okay, got him, and he was the alpha, so they all just fled. That was ridiculous. I've never had that happen with a big wolf. I mean, I wanted to fend off an entire pack with the 454. Uh, technically, we did. It took like three or four medkit uses, but fingers crossed, a diamond common. 39.2 Iberian wolf. That's so cool. So now, finally in what you would think is the opposite order that it should work. We'll have a all diamond uh, fangs out multi-mount with a winter diamond, a gray diamond, and a common diamond. What a way to get that. I was so nervous that we were gonna die and have to go track him. And then there were so many. Like, there was at least one other mythical that was 45 to 50 kg. That could have been an absolute mess, but we got through it, we got our diamond and Kind of the next move now is eventually a better move on, but man, that was adre adrenaline that I was not ready for back here. I couldn't even help myself. I had to come back here to the trophy lodge and go ahead and assemble this multi mount. It's well over a year in the making. We had a big diamond move on back in January, and I decided to kind of include it because I just think it's so cool. But we have our winter diamond, which we got back in May. Our Grey Diamond, which is the first Diamond Iberian Wolf we got on the new system. And that was in May of 2020. And then of course, our new one today, at 39.2, our Common Diamond. You wouldn't have thought that would be the last one, but for whatever reason, our only two Diamond Iberian Wolves to this point had been Uncommons. And, I mean, to have three different prototypes in this multi-mount as Diamonds, I just think that's so cool. And I'd love to get a Diamond Grey Mouflon, but for now, a big 185 diamond common will certainly do. And I mean, two rares in that hunt on Quattro as well. Just female rares, but pretty cool rares. A piebald red deer hind and the melanistic uh, female European air I thought was really cool as well. They will probably be second lodge additions at some point, but to get the multi mount that I've ordered done for so long, I just wanted to come here and take a look at that. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.